Hi, I'm Judy Swigert. I'm the Superintendent of Schools here at Greater Latrobe. Um, it is uh, the middle of August and um, next week our teachers return and our students return on August 25th. So we're very excited about the start of the school year. Um, we have some exciting things that we've been working on here at the school district for this upcoming school year. And uh, I'll be brief and try to mention a few of them. And certainly as you, if you have children in the district or you read the newspapers, you'll be hearing more about them. Um, first off, um, project-wise, you're probably aware or have heard that the Athletic Wellness Complex is complete and all of our fall sports programs, which there are many, are practicing um, on the facility at various times during the day. If you get some time and you're out walking and it's a beautiful day, please stop up and see the facility. Um, in addition, the junior high renovation to the connecting corridor and a hallway in the junior high in the entrance is just about complete. Um, and it is ready for the students to return on the 25th. Uh, so there again, when you're up at the complex, walk around the front of the junior high and walk in and see the displays. Um, one of the uh, goals of that program was to create an environment to display original art um, in the junior high school, which most of you are probably aware this senior high school has very much of. Um, it is a beautiful space and I think all of you will appreciate it. Um, obviously it's not going to be filled with original art at the very beginning um, of the school year. It takes years to have that happen, um, but the space to have this displayed is really critical and we're very pleased um, that that has, a, has just about been finished. Um, that project was supported by the Greater Latrobe Partners in Education Foundation and we thank them for that support. Um, on the other side of the coin, we have the curriculum projects in the district. Uh, you may have heard, if you have a student in the elementary buildings, uh, that the district adopted a new science program called Science Fusion, which is a K-8 program that um, integrates uh, STEM-related uh, programs and assignments within that curriculum. Um, that is a very exciting step because in the 15-16 school year, when we approach next August, all of our ninth graders will be taking biology with a lab class um, in ninth grade. Right now that doesn't happen, some of our students do and some don't, but we recognize that that biology class with a lab is very important for all of our ninth graders to take at that time, so that is something that the science fusion leads to. In our junior high school, um, our sixth graders coming to seventh grade will see a slight change in schedule in that our math and language arts classes will be more than the 42 minutes which they have traditionally been in our junior high. And that was really instituted because of the length of time that our sixth graders have in those subjects and cutting back to 42 minutes um, instantaneously we think is an issue for our students, so therefore they will be having an extended period of time in those classrooms to provide remediation enrichment um, in language arts and mathematics. At our senior high school, uh, most recently, um, you probably have heard about the Young Engineers program, um, but this year our Young Engineers students will also have the opportunity to receive uh, St. Vincent dual enrolled credit when they take the Young Engineers program. Dual enrollment is a real important piece in our senior high school and it's one that has grown over the last few years and continues to grow, meaning that high school students may receive college credit in various different settings. We have agreements with many different colleges and universities, but the Young Engineers with the St. Vincent's is a new dual enrollment opportunity um, as that program has evolved and the evaluation by St. Vincent they are actually earning a credit in the engineering department. So we're very excited about that. On the other front, all fall activities have started. Um, we have our first home football game on September 5th with Kiski. We welcome you all to Latrobe Memorial Stadium for that event, but not only football, and that is one of the key pieces that we recognize with the athletic wellness is the district hosts many, many different sports 
and ac activities in the district. And so um, many of all of those sports have had events and are starting to have events with this upcoming week. So watch for schedules. Um, if you want more information on specific events, call the athletic office or look at the website because they're all there. But I know the first home football game is one that many people tend to come to as a tradition. So that is September 5th. As always, we welcome you to call with questions, concerns, um, ideas. Um, please feel free. Our um, board meetings are televised on uh, the network, so please feel free to watch those and call. Or if you have some opportunity, please stop in for our board meetings. Um, they're the second and third Tuesday of every month. Thank you very much.